Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Road to Guangdong. This is an early access game that comes out in a month. It is a pixel, not pixely, but a low poly adventure game about a tri road trip in the 1990s. As Han says, basically desert uh, bus, but in China. Oh, Jaden says hi. Hello. Let's do this. Kuma, really serves late. I'm not going to try to do all of the voices here because it's going to get very offensive very quickly. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Her, I assume, grandmother is very, very mean. But in an entertaining way. Wow. She's cold. Oh, she's cross. Damn. So she's just not saying anything? Oh, I actually have to... Oh, you can go into the conversation thing and specifically address something that's going on. Aww. She really does. Oh, that's mother's older sister? So this is her auntie. Aww. Gung Gung is grandmother? Uh, I'm sure I'll find out. Aww. I was going to ask if she's wearing a hat or if that's super awesome hair. But I don't think we have enough information yet to judge. Oh no! Let's go! Oh no, someone died. Yes, of course. Oh, neat! Wow, they kind of blacked out our answer. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's check the car, obviously, before we start driving. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, that's looking good. Also looking good. Fuel's full. 15 liter gas tank doesn't seem like a lot, but it's not a big car. Okay. I think Daniel's very like to fall when cornering. You mean fall off, not fall up, but it could happen to anybody. Apparently we'll sort that out. Gotcha. Okay, required items wheel. Gotcha. Yeah, Jaden, what's up? Alright, let's open the bonnet. You know, it, everything seems to be in perfect shape. Alright, let's get driving. It's always best to check out your car. Let's desert bust the F out of this thing. I missed what you said earlier, Jaden, I'm sorry to say. Oh, look at those hydroelectric wires. I'll be honest with you, until this moment, I didn't know they drove in the right side of the uh, road in China. Her car doesn't have, have cruise control, we just found out. Azure Lane. Why is that name familiar? Is that a fantasy multiplayer game? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, there's different channels on the radio. 
Uh oh. Luckily the fuzz weren't around to see that. Is this the game where you're literally just driving? Um That's a tree hovering in the ground. Houses. We're all seeing this, right? Is this part of the game or is it just bad programming? The game doesn't come out for a month, so we're gonna attack this down to glitchy glitch. You know what? I didn't crash. Gotcha. It would be cool if this was just a part of the game. It would, but it's obviously not. I love that they were getting higher, like, whoa, what the hell? Yes! Is that good? That's good, right? We arrived at garage. Does your car need repair? I don't know. Well, we drove for eight seconds, so I can't imagine we're out of gas. I, uh, Guman's older, but you don't see me complaining. Don't forget to fill up the petrol oil. No, for, uh, all right. I think that might be a hat. It is a hat. I thought, oh, no, 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 it is hair. Look at the front. All right, so I have... Uh, my oil's fine. Let's fill the petrol. Yep. Wait, how much cash do I have? Oh, 300. I want to say one? Is is one the correct amount thing of money? All right, let's just... Wow, she is hilarious. What the hell? When did we get into a six lane divided highway? That's new. Okay. Oh yeah, I saw that. I just don't know what any of that means, Jaden. Because I'm obviously not familiar with the game Azure Lane. I figure this is a six lane di divided highway. We can go as fast as we want, right? Like China's like the Autobahn. Uh oh! We're out of oil? I literally just checked the oil when we left the garage. And it was full. How could we be out of oil? My engine died. the 90s. I saw how cars worked in the 90s. Uh, yeah, I'm checking my car. You don't run out of oil. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wrong. So, engine. Gearbox looks fine. Let's it out of yellow oil. oil filter. Health zero. Integrity zero. Fit. You, just, you check to make sure your oil's clean. Wait, what? So wait, my oil filter was perfect when I left the home five minutes ago, and now this is the condition of the oil filter. Is there a lot of smog in China in the 90s? I don't know. Well, that still wouldn't account for that. That would be your air filter, not your oil filter. Badly worn filters can cause serious oil leaks, can't be repaired, only replaced. But I don't have any extra oil filters. Oh, are you kidding me? And am I out of oil as well? Fan belt looks fine. Okay, where's the oil? I'm out of oil. Like, literally completely out of oil. There's no oil in the car. Because the oil filter exploded, apparently, at some point. Okay. That's not a bad co a comparison, unabridged. It's a game you don't know about. My twin runs this garage. Alright, so. Let's go to the scrap heap. Let's go to a uh, check scrap. 
Oil filter, thank you. I'm just taking everything, I don't care. It's all in great condition, it's all in perfect condition, why would I not take it all? It's free! All right, let's go to the four cart. Oh, nice, Hans, I didn't know that. All right, so, mechanic, let's fill up that oil, shall we? I have no oil. 33 Juan, are you crazy? Hans, am I saying the right word there, Juan? Uh, Alright, back to the car. I'm going to replace my own oil filter. Because I don't need him to do it for me. Alright. I would like to replace the oil filter with a new oil filter. Okay. Suddenly the car is back in perfect shape. Or should I say, per perfect shape. I would if my car was a cat, but it's not. Hey, let's check the tires while we're here. Looking fine. Looking double fine. Triple fine. Yeah, we're doing great. Well, that was frustrating. The techno was starting to bother me. Alright, so engine temperature is good. The exposed wires are good. Fuel and oil look good. I think we're going to be fine. Oh, zombie. Do you hear that, everybody? Zombie Night Terror, one of my favorite games here on the channel, is coming to the uh, iOS. So everyone with an Apple-compatible uh, phone should pick up a copy of Zombie Night Terror, one of the best strategy games I've ever played. It's Murder Zombie Lemmings. Except, I guess you're in charge of the zombies who do the murdering. The point is, it's like lem Lemmings, but with zombies. Already down to half tank of gas. We've been on this road for a while. Luckily, the random generation has not created any zombie encounters yet, so I think pretty lucky. And, as far as I can tell, the, uh, the exposed wires are holding steady. Uh-oh, it's nighttime, everyone. 120 kilometers an hour, nice. Oh, okay, so it's a modern combat game, gotcha. This Azure Lane game. Now I understand. 120 kilometers is a solid st speed limit. In Canada, that's the speed everyone drives at all the time. So... Wait, I'm almost out of gasoline. Where's the nearest gas station? Have I been, like, missing gas stations? Is there such a thing as a road in China, I mean, you can tell me, Hans, where if you start with a full tank of gas and you drive in a straight line, you'll run out of gas before you find a gas station? Because that seems like a terrible way to, you know, design a highway. Not only because you're going to cause massive problems, because you're just leaving money on the table. Everyone who drives down that highway is going to need to fill up at some point. Put in another gas station. Alright, now to activate get out and push mode. What's that? That's definitely not a thing in this game. My two options are light techno and traditional Chinese for music. Should I have bought like a canister of gasoline? 
can you do that? Is that what people do? They have a thing of extra petrol in the trunk? Yeah, I have petrol, don't I? Yeah, so uh, let's use it. Boop! Alright, petrol's full. Oh, wait, should I... Oh, I don't have to close it. Good. Let's close the gas tank. This game is only 300 megabytes big, by the way. Like, the, uh... If you don't have high-end textures, you'd be surprised how tiny games can get. Oil filter looks perfect. So I guess I just had a bad oil filter? Engine's perfect. Fan bell's starting to get loose. Oof. I will have to have them tighten that at the next thing. Well, now you're talking crazy, Phoenix. Uh, Dead Rising 3 is a great game. Alright, hopefully we'll find another gas station before we run out of gas again. It's like, seriously, if you take out the voice acting, CG sequences, and uh, high-end textures, you can build incredibly complex games in a tiny amount of space. By the way, I don't know why my goo ma is so mad at me, but she, like she has not talked this entire trip. Like at all. Can I talk with her by pressing one of the buttons? Oh, wrong button. FYI, there is no ejector seat on the car. I tried pressing the ejector seat button, did nothing. I'm guessing those uh, loose wires there could have told me that the ejector seat was out of uh, compressed gas, and that's why it wasn't going to work, but I didn't replace that, uh, what, indicator. And that's on me to a certain extent. Okay. And I'm almost out of fuel again. What do you want from me, game? We literally drove all night. Don't get me wrong. I know China is huge and driving all night. There's plenty of places you would far from be getting to. And take, you know, a few days to get across the whole country, just like America and Canada, but that is two full tanks of gas I just went through without reaching another gas station. Wow. Huh. See, that's a nice idea, Hans. So I don't have a reserve tank? Gotcha. I don't have any more fuel, do I? I don't have any fuel, everybody. Alright, let's get towed to another gas station. I'm going to say Harrier Jets, Jaden. Oh, Guma. Alright, let's buy some stuff. Alright. Okay. Obviously, I need some petrol. And I would like to buy some petrol. I'm almost out of cash. This has become a very expensive journey. Alright. Can you repair my fan belt? $10 seems a little high. I think it can last, especially since I have another fan belt.
Uh, let's check out the scrap heap just to be safe. No harm in that. Oh, hello. Yes, it's broken. What is wrong with you? Wait, the scrap heap has a perfect condition engine lying around? I freaking love this scrap heap. Can I sell some of this stuff and make some money back? Because that would be amazing. That's the car desire for power. That's the vehicle desire for power. Alright, so... Uh, I guess we can leave the garage now? Was I naive to think that... In the game... When I drove... That, uh... Like, there was going to be conversations between my character... And the auntie character, so we could learn more about what's going on in their lives and get some context for the adventures in this game. Like, was that crazy for me to think that that's what was going to happen? Because as far as I can tell, the whole game is just drive until you run out of stuff. And the game doesn't tell you how far you are from where you're going or give you any indication whatsoever of back options. Maybe there's a distance I can now... The options are literally just volume options. Yeah, no, I saw that, Jaden, but that was my only guess, so I'm not going to uh, guess other things. Aha! Destination, Sifu Tong, Fo Shan. Sunny Sum Suk is a Kung Fu master who owns a modest martial arts school in Fo Shan. Okay, location, garage, distance traveled, Fo Shan... We've only gone 67 kilometers? We drove all night. What are you talking about? At least I found out how to tell how fast... Like, we're literally driving along at 90 kilometers an hour now. Sorry, 80 kilometers an hour now. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to do something. I'm going to check how far we've gone. 72, okay? So I'm going to count to... Oh, we keep having to restart because we get towed back to the garage. Okay, I'm a dummy. Sorry. So we're at 17. I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we've gone 22. So, by my math, we have to go 200 more seconds... Uh, because I count to 10, and that was 5, so we have to go 200 more seconds to get there. So that's about 4 minutes of driving. I think we can do that, and I'm just going to keep refilling the oil and gas as we go. Maybe the filter as well, we'll see. Fan belt, I think i got an extra fan belt. I know I've got a new engine. Alright, we're running low on gas. That makes it uh, this the perfect opportunity to refill the gas. Is that for upgrades or whatever, Jaden? Alright. Stop the engine. Get out of the car. 100% safe, by the way, to get out of the car. Later when someone asks you, is it really safe to just get out of the car in the middle of the highway and refuel your engine? The answer might surprise you is yes. Alright. Alright. So now, oh, whoops, sorry. I was going to refill the uh, oil as well while we were out here. I believe that's here. No, here. Aha, uh -huh. nope. Oil filter looks fine. Ah, there we go. Let's put a little more oil in there. Confirm. Looking good. Oh! Oh, when you hear research, you'd think it's not going to be to just build chips. It would be to uh, unlock new tech. Alright, so. How much of American Pie can I sing before we get there? What's that? None? Because no one wants to hear that? Oh, okay. Well, that's disappointing how quickly I turned on myself. But what are you going to do? Uh, 40. That was loud. Sorry. I forgive you.
All right. So, according to my math... Whoa! Uh, if we... Uh, let's, let's take a moment to think. Hey, I can't recommend that uh, Larry Nasser documentary enough on HBO. Like, super depressing subject matter, obviously, but just a really one rel, uh, well-made documentary. The, uh, the gymnastics doctor who molested his patients. Hmm. I said upsetting. I made it clear that it was upsetting, and you asked anyway. So partially what this is on you. upsetting documentaries? Yes. That's what I keep saying. You think so? How is it wasteful, Hans? You don't lose any gasoline. He's talking about the gasoline. Anyway, really interesting documentary. And I gotta say, never in my life have I, uh, have I heard a story about someone killing themselves and my response been, yeah, that was probably the right choice. But this time it actually happened. So, if you want to be super depressed, this is the, this is the documentary for you. Oh, you have a good night too, uh, Madcap. So now we check how far we've gone. We're only 40 kilometers out, peeps. So by my math, that full tank of gas got us 30 kilometers. That's true, but you can choose to start coasting uh, and save a bunch of fuel. You're right, I see what you're saying. That actually makes a lot of sense. We're probably going to do that in the future. I'm just going to go out on a limb and suggest that uh, this is not a super realistic depiction of uh, driving in China. So I'm putting in half a tank, and according to Hans's logic, we get this bad boy, and by the way, this also works in real life, get this bad up boy up to like 250, and even when you absolutely run out of gas, you're going to coast for another kilometer and a half, two kilometers, just based on the fact that you were going 250. And that's true, right? Isn't that the most efficient use of fuel? Except for the crazy amount of fuel you burn up getting to 250 kilometers an hour? It's funny that you drive in the most fuel economic way. Yeah. But you're debating it now in a video game. Oh, in the video game, I never drive the most fuel economical way. Only in real life. Whereas that's how I drive in a video game, but never in real life. Fascinating. Uh, yes, I'm not familiar with either of those vehicles, Jaden. Although it is weird that you're getting both a... That your choice was to get both a uh, Japanese and a Royal Navy ship. Although if you don't have to pick a side, it is cool to get whatever plane you want. I would like both a Spitfire and a Junker. That's why we're coasting. No, it's simulating. Well, I mean, it's not clear what it's simulating because they're telling me I'm 101 blanks from a place. But what kind of car, with a full tank of gas, I get 35 numbers of thing, of distance. And if that's a kilometer, then I'm getting two kilometers per liter of gasoline, which would make this the least efficient vehicle in the history of the world. Yeah, maybe. Coast! We're successfully coasting! You go, Coasty. We did it, everybody. Oh, no, wait. I was trying to turn the car off, not on. Oof. How is my tire doing? Perfectly? Okay, good. Alright, so by my logic, I should fill this up with just five fuel units. Alright, then we should get as high speed as we can go 
and coast to a stop and then do that one more time and there is a slight chance we're going to make it there. <sighs> yeah, we should make it there. Should make it there. This is going to take some getting used to. I would really like it if there was like some conversation going on with the grandma while this, the auntie while this is happening. Like that would really improve the experience. Yeah. Pardon me. That was a terrible hiccup, and I apologize. Yes! Oh, we did it! That was very loud. I was surprised, too. You arrived somewhere successfully in the car. I know. So it's like it, every dream is coming I, true at once. This seems like the most boring video game in the world. I don't know if I would go that far. Have they also made a video game where you watch paint dry? Many. There are many games about watching paint dry. Oh. I tried to. Oh. Aww. Well, yes, but we're only... Yes, Hans, but we're only driving on straight roads and there are no other cars, so I think we'll be fine. No, oh, Guma's a jerk to everybody. Is it not learned and instead of learnt? Oh, Sifu means master. Oh, so there you go. You can uh, research improvements in that game. Nice. Okay. Whoa. Damn, that's cold. Oof. For a kung fu mini game that would be a twist in a game about staring at an endless road and getting kind of frustrated about it i'm kidding it's fine hey student three what's up Fascinating and logical, too. All right. Bird. Oh, excuse me. Tifu, obviously. Boom. Damn right it will. Burn. Okay. Aww. 
Damn, that guy's a dick. Gotcha. So weird, student too. Oh. It's weird, they accidentally gave uh, this guy Sonny's first line, I'm Sonny. Wow. Oh, no, I was trying to do the it must be earned thing. What are you doing? Okay, well, now I'm just skipping ahead too quickly. That's on me. Hey! Now we're going to use the learn about the yin, the in-breath. Okay. Yay! All right. We're learning Kung Fu, everybody. Okay. So, coil up when you breathe in, expand when you breathe out. I'm learning so much about Kung Fu. Damn right I have Guma. You breathe in, you breathe out, and then it changes your form. And then you transform. Boom! Waka waka! I got a recipe! Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. I'm learning a lot of things about running restaurants and driving in China. Woohoo! So that is the opening of the game, Road to Guangdong. A game that didn't properly explain uh, any of its mechanics to start with, and that was a problem, so I bankrupted myself on the first leg of my journey. And far bigger issue, uh, really you need to have something to break up the driving, guys. Just give me something. But 
Uh, it does seem like a cute little low-stakes family adventure game, so that's kind of nice. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons coming up for that. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. As you can see, uh, this is going to be in PC Early Access on the 16th of May, so if you're curious, check it out on Steam then. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, au revoir.